Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online and as always don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. It keeps us motivated. Anyhow, uh, today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and extend on what we learned about arguments and functions in the previous tutorial which was a very basic overview and today we're going to go ahead and build on that talking about positional arguments and keyword arguments. So let's get started. We're going to create a um, function real quick and in that function we're going to use positional arguments so we can see what they are. Define positional it's good, uh, positional the name of our function. And we're going to use a and b as our parameters and um, don't forget your colon at the end of the function and let's do uh, first is equal to um, a is and then we'll just do some formatting here and we'll do format a alright so whatever we pass to a is going to be returned here and let's do second is equal to b is and a little bit more formatting and this time we're going to pass b alright um, then we'll return first second all right now we have seen this before but I want you to focus on um, what happens with a and B when we pass the arguments all right so first one's gonna be let's go ahead and print positional and we're gonna pass 4 and 10 all right and you notice we get a is 4 and B is 10 now if I do print positional and do 10 and 4 like that now we get a is 10 and b is 4 so that's positional arguments up here right and positional arguments are um, based on the position that you pass the value all right into the function so um, just keep that in mind now let's go ahead and look at a different different way to pass a value to uh, a, an argument I should say um, so let's go ahead and do uh, define key so key is going to be the name of our function we're going to say a and B just like this Oops. like that and this time we're gonna do the same thing we did up top first is equal to a is and format just like that. second and we're gonna do the same thing B is oops, is format B all right now we'll just return these two first second just like that and this time we're gonna call them using keys so if I do let's see here um, print key and we're gonna do a is a is equal to 4 B is equal to 10 all right and we're gonna get a is 4 and B is 10 so let's try that one more time so you can see what's going on key and we'll do a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 4 just like that all right so you may be asking why would we use a key value um uh instead of positional well we're going to take a look at that in a second here um but a key value normally gives us the ability to omit a value so if i do print uh, key a is equal to 10 and go like this I'm gonna get an error all right because uh, one required positional argument is missing so let's go ahead and just take a look at this real quick I'm going to define my function real quick again and we're going to change this define key a and B is equal to 0 all right um, then we can do uh, first is equal to string a is a and second is b is b and return first second all right and if I do print and pass 
um, a is equal to 5, I can go like this, and I don't get an error. I get b is 0. Now I can do print key a is equal to 5, and b is equal to 10, and go like that. Now I got 10. All right. So it's <clears throat> uh, one reason why we use keyword arguments. Now, if you have a very large function uh, with a lot of arguments, you probably going to want to use keyword uh arguments. Uh, let's take a look at one more example here. Uh, I'm going to write this function one more time up top here. I know you guys hate watching me write this, but uh, key is A, B, and C. And I want to show you one more thing that uh, might trip you up while you're writing code. So first is equal to A is you know, format and uh, format A and we'll do second is B is format that third is C is format C and we'll go ahead and return first second and third all right so <clears throat> we got that written now now what I want to show you is if I use um, keyword arguments, so if I do uh, print key and I do um, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and then I do 5, in your mind you'd be thinking, all right, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and 5 is going to go ahead and re uh, be for C. Right? Nope. Error. All right. Positional argument follows keyword argument. So what this means is if you start out with a keyword argument, the rest of your um, arguments must be a keyword argument. They must have the equal sign. Okay. Um, so, but if I did this, if I did print key and I did five and then I did B is e equal to two and C is equal to six, guess what? Uh, third's not defined. Thirst. <laughs> oh, I screwed up that function. Can you call her? All right, so I went back and rewrote the function uh, after my wife interrupted me to get the dog because she was uh, driving her nuts. So I saved you guys uh, the pain of watching me rewrite that again. So let's jump back into what we were just doing real quick. Let's do a uh, print uh, key, and what I did was 5 comma b equal 2 and C is equal to 6, all right? And then we print it, we get A is 5, B is 2, and C is 6, all right? So if we start off with the um, positional argument first and then a keyword argument, that is doable. But we cannot start off with keyword arguments and finish with the um, positional argument, all right? So there is your overlay of keyword arguments and positional arguments. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Have a nice day.